Hey, Clara Adelina here. Bring your awesomeness to dating from the Love for Life Academy. Um, I need to do a few things, share this to another group. So bear with me a second while I set it all up. Good moment to breathe in breath. I'm going to speak about breath today. Breath is so powerful. Power. Yay. So let's begin, everyone. Let's begin with breathing a moment, right? Our days are not lived when we don't consciously breathe. Share that statement. <laughs> Our day is not lived when we don't consciously breathe. <sighs> and maybe our challenges around finding love are our challenges around breathing. <laughs> It's part of it, certainly. So when we breathe, everything shifts. I was just now, you know, in my Q&A with the women who actually work with me. <sighs> and doing a little exercise around that. And seeing how we could actually, Natasha, good morning, breathe. <laughs> seeing how we can actually shift how we are with ourselves, how we are on a date, how we are with our beloved, how we have it in us to truly shift that. And our breathing is a big part of that. <sighs> because what happens when we shift, when we breathe more deeply, we embody more. Our soul comes down into our body a bit more. And what is more attractive than a woman who is fully embodying her soul? Right? Now, everybody always says, don't um, share too much on these calls, Clara. Don't share too much. But I want to, you know, basically give you so much of what I have here. And breathing is an important tool. And if you're struggling with man not, you know, not meeting the kind of man that you would like to meet, or if you're in a relationship, thinking of you, Natasha, and there is, you know, those periods when somehow it isn't quite at the level anymore where it used to be. Don't know if that's up for you. I hope not. But, you know, looking ahead. It's so easy that we get caught into the mind. We get caught into, oh, this is the wrong guy showing up on the date. We get caught into, well, he is doing something wrong. He's not showing up like he used to. But actually, what about us? What about breath? If we could just shift all of this, all of this, with one powerful thing, it would be breath. Because when we start to show up differently, we start to attract different man. And on the moment we are with him, new things start happening. So often I speak to women and they say, you know, I'm meeting the wrong guys. It's the number one problem. The guys I meet, the dates I have, they're terrible. And that is a problem, right? Because that means you're stuck in square one of dating. And what is more frustrating than that? You're this awesome woman kicking ass in your career, promotion after promotion, option after option. And your dating life is just sucks. It goes nowhere. You want the family, you want to move on with your life. But when you're not meeting the right guys, you, you, you can do nothing. Right? Wrong. <laughs> There's a lot that you can do. But it begins with you shifting who you attract. 
And another thing, because I threw them on a heap. I sneaked something in here, and I don't know if you noticed. I sneaked in if you're meeting the wrong guys and your dates suck. As if that's one statement. It's two statements. It's two different problems. Attracting the wrong man is one. Dates that suck is another one. I don't know if I should have used that finger. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Right? When we attract the wrong guys, we need to look at our power of attraction. And I have other calls on that. Do watch out. You know, I do this twice a week. And by the way, if you have questions about it, ask, right? This is interactive space. <sighs> Take a good breath. Mm. But when the good guy shows up, are you sure that you can make it an awesome date? Because when I ask more, when I continue asking, many women say, yeah, all the guys suck. And the few that are good, they just are not interested in me. Hey, that's another problem. That's you not being able to make those dates really awesome. And when you learn that, you will find, first of all, that the guys who are awesome, they are interested in you. But second, you will find that many, many, many that you thought were just suckers are actually amazing guys. But neither of you knew how to shift out of that business kind of energy, right? Because that's what all of you are good at. You're good at business type of conversations. How do I talk to a colleague? Well, I talk about goals. I talk about what I did last week. And if you have that kind of conversation on a date, he won't be wanting to come back to you. He has enough of that. You have enough of that. You need to learn. And if you start talking about excess, I always say, just don't do that, right? Don't do that on a first date. It's not that it's a secret, but it's not very, you know, it creates a kind of, connection like we have with our sisters we share each other's problems together and that gives a sort of connection but that's not the kind of connection you want on a date it's not what gets a man excited about you and maybe even worse it's not what gets you excited about him right so breath is much more powerful when you can truly breathe in that life energy but even more breathe in the energy that's in the space right now he is a man he is a woman here's the two of them together do you already feel the energy just when i name that here's a man here's a woman here's the two of you together i want you to go to that level i want you to go to breathe in that level to breathe into his energy, breathe into your own energy, breathe into the connection, what is between you. We did that just now in our group. Things popped, shifted immediately, playfulness, connection, uh, charge, relaxed, you know, everything is there. Once you breathe into the basics, here's a man, here's a woman, here they are together. And they're also in a space of openness, wanting to explore what's between them even more. Now that is the level you want to stay with. You don't want to go anywhere else. This is the level you want to stay with. And breathing really helps you to do that. We have many more ways that we practice to do that. But breathing is like the first. Staying with what is. Don't create stories. Don't go off into the past, into the future. The present is where the magic happens. A date is life, right? In life, what's what all the spiritual teachers tell us? Be present. Dates, I always say it's like life, um, 
I always say, but in Dutch, how do you say it in English? Life in kwadraat. Like life exponentially. Like, you know, there's even more to life. The challenges that we have in life, they show up double in dating. And the beauty that we have, it shows up double in dating. But when we have very little beauty and connection and breath and intimacy with our own body, that really shows up on a date. You can't hide it. And those amazing guys, once that you finally meet him, he's like, oh, <laughs> sorry. But that is how it goes. And not because there's anything lacking in you. Nothing wrong with you. But because you don't know how to open that space of here is you, here is a man, here is a woman, here is the two of us, and we're open to explore. And when you know how to open that space, watch what happens and let me know. So I want to keep it a bit short today. And, you know, if you want to know more about this, how does this work? If you do find yourself stuck in those situations, either meeting way too many boring guys or not being sure that they really are boring, but uh, nothing happening. Or having an amazing guy and then having him not want a second date. You don't want that ever to happen again, right? No more guys not wanting second dates when you want one. And breath is so powerful. And when you want me to work on that with you, to really see, hey, how can you make this work for you so that you get may, way more fun dates? And that when the one guy comes, that's right. He will want a second date with you. If that's what you're excited about, you know, hop on a call with me. You know, I work for the top of the top. You know, I work for these amazing women who get everything in life and are ready to get love too. So claraadalena.com slash apply. And we will really look at, you know, I always say you can be with a man in half a year. Not just with a man, with your soulmate. There's no need for this to take any longer. That's what I stand for. And <laughs> scratching my head because it's always exciting to say, Sarah, hey, good to have you for our last minutes here. So I always say you can be with your man within half a year. And breath is one of the keys to that. And if you really want to get clarity on how that works for you, and if you're not yet had a call with me, then get one. It's a life changer. A woman actually wrote me last week that just that one call had made the difference and she's with her man now. Now that's rare. Things happen. ClaraAdalena.com slash apply. Sarah, I'm already hopping off, but do listen to the first part. And everyone here, thank you for being. Thank you for your courage to stay on the path of love. It can become way more easy than you know now. And because of your courage, you will find it. Thank you. Have an awesome, loving day. And breathe. Aloha. If I find the end button, there I go. Bye-bye.